Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Kleena here and today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question 13 from this junior cert ordinary level paper. So let's get started. In question A is a simplifying question and we're asked to simplify 2a minus 5n plus 2n plus 6a. Now you'll remember you can only add or subtract alike terms. So 2a minus 5n, we can't do that because there are two different terms. Now we can add 2a plus 6a and minus 5n plus 2n because they are alike terms. So let's put the two like terms together. So 2a plus 6a, okay, because so we can add those, and then we have minus 5n plus 2n. So you can just see here we've rearranged the, the expression. So 2a plus 6a we can do, that's 8a. Minus 5n plus 2n we can do, that's minus 3n. So this is our answer for question A. That's as far as we can simplify it, 8a minus 3n. Now for question B, we're told that y is equal to 3n plus 70 all over 5. And we're asked to work out the value of y when n is equal to 10. So let's just fill in 10 instead of n and see how we're going to go from there. So y is equal to 3 by 10 plus 70 all over 5. So we know that 3 by 10 is 30 plus 70 divided by 5. 30 plus 70 is 100 divided by 5 and 100 divided by 5 is 20. You can use your calculator for this if you're not sure to do it in your head. So y is equal to 20. And that's our answer for question B. Now the final part of this question is a quadratic expression. So we're asked to factorize the quadratic expression x squared minus 7x plus 12. So when I'm given a quadratic expression and I'm asked to factorize it, the first thing that I'm going to do is find the factors of this. So 12, we have 12 times 1, we have 6 times 2, and we have 3 times 4. We need to pick one of these pairs, okay, that's going to add up together to give us minus 7. So 3 times 4 gives us 12, but so does minus 3 times minus 4, okay, because two negatives give a positive. But minus 3 minus 4 is going to give us minus 7x. So this is my chosen pair, minus 3 times minus 4. So I'm going to replace minus 7x by minus 3x minus 4x, and I'll show you now where to go from there. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 4x, plus 12. Now you can see here that this is basically the same expression because if we got minus 3 minus 4 we're going to get minus 7. So we can go back and show that this is the same expression. So now from there we're going to take out what's common in two groups. Okay so in this group and in this group. So in the first group we can take out x and we're left with x minus 3. So x goes into x squared. So x by x here is x squared and x by minus 3 is minus 3x. Now in this group, we need to get the same thing inside the bracket. So we want to get x minus 3. So how are we going to get that? Here, it's minus 4x. So minus 4, my apologies. So minus 4 times x is minus 4x and minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12. So we're going to be left with x minus 4 because we have x minus 4 and then this bracket is the same as this bracket. So that's our other bracket. So to factorize it, we're left with x minus 4, x minus 3. So x minus 4, x minus 3 and that is our answer for question C. Now for this whole question, part A, B and C, you're only going to get five marks. I think this might be a reflection on the fact that it's quite difficult, especially quite part C. Okay, so there's only five marks going for the whole question. So if you don't get the whole question here, there's no need to worry, you're not going to lose out on that many marks. But saying that, if you practice a lot of algebra and it's one of your strong points, 
it's an easy five marks to pick up in the exam. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this video helped and I'll see you all in the next one.